Space debris is a real challenge for space operators. It's like driving down the motorway uh, if the wreckage from every crash that had ever happened was still there. It can be old rocket bodies, it can be satellites that don't work anymore, but then there's 34,000 uh, pieces of debris larger than about the size of a football. Uh, there's 900,000 about the size of a tennis ball. And there's about 130 million pieces up there about the size of a coin. These objects are traveling at about 17,000 miles an hour around Earth. That's about 10 times faster than the bullet from a gun. So if that hits a satellite, uh, that satellite's going to be completely destroyed. And that's going to create hundreds, if not thousands, more pieces of debris, which could then stay in orbit themselves for could be hundreds of years. One of the specialised companies that has come forward to meet the challenge of removing space debris is Astroscale. We're developing technologies to be able to uh, remove space debris from orbit, to extend the life of satellites, and more generally provide in-orbit servicing uh, in a way that we can uh, keep space clean, usable and protected for future generations. Each piece of space debris has its own orbital trajectory and presents different levels of risk and reward. Mission planners are presented with an almost infinite number of collection options. Fujitsu's quantum-inspired digital annealer can solve this type of problem, known as a combinatorial optimization problem, up to 10,000 times faster than conventional computing. But in order to develop a complete solution for Astroscale, the Fujitsu team turned to Amazon Web Services to provide AI tooling and hyperscale cloud capability and to the University of Glasgow to model the spacecraft's missions and optimize the transfers. Together with Astroscale, the partners formed a powerful consortium, one that was enabled by backing from the UK Space Agency in the form of a grant for advancing research into space surveillance and tracking. Technologies like quantum computing or artificial intelligence really lend themselves to the data-rich areas of the space sector. So it can help us to better use that data to really get more accurate, timely predictions of just where something is in the sky. The team's working prototype offers a solution that comfortably outperforms any alternative approach that's currently available. It tends to be about a thousand times faster than the way we would work it today. The optimization produces a better solution and the, the options give us more opportunities to do something different with our space debris removal. We tested the platform against an expert using standard methods. They took four hours through an iterative process and the platform calculated the same problem with the same assumptions and the same inputs in a fraction of a second. The outcome was 25% faster mission and 18% less fuel. It means that you can perform trade-offs exceptionally fast. So there's options to actually try and optimize your solution in real time, which is attractive because we intend to host multiple debris removal services at one time. There's an opportunity there for the economy, for the UK space sector as a whole, to do new things, new types of mission, new types of data understanding and, and monitoring and awareness. And that really is one of our key rationales to act. We need to demonstrate our resolve with action. And really, that's what these sorts of innovations will do. They'll show that the UK is serious about cleaning up space and making it sustainable for us and future generations. Mm -hmm.